So here I have my lithium iron batteries ready to be connected. Uh, so basically two uh, batteries are going to be connected in parallel. These other two will be connected in parallel. And then the two banks will be connected in series for a total of uh, 24 volts, actually 27 volts. This is how the batteries look like before I connect them together. I remove the uh, straps just so that they will not get in the way of the video. So here I show how I connected batteries one and two in parallel with the black to black, red to red, and then batteries three and four uh, also in parallel you know, with the red to red and black to black. Now next I am going to connect uh, these two batteries in series. So here as you can see I connected the black to red so now these batteries are connected in series. Now I have these two uh, wires, I guess this uh, the black and the red here that will be uh, connected to my uh, charger uh, giving me a total of uh, 24 volts uh, but in fact 27 volts because uh, the batteries are fully charged. Here you can see that I connected the black negative terminal to uh, what's going to be my uh, charging wire extension as well as the uh, positive red uh, terminal to this um, uh, extension uh, wire uh, and this is a uh, I'm using 8 gauge uh, wire for this to prevent sparking when I make the final connection I am using a mass AS150 anti-spark uh, connectors uh, to prevent uh, sparks so here's the last connection there shouldn't be any spark now my uh, charger is uh, turning uh, on and uh, with the sun it may be a little hard to see but as you can see uh, there is a voltage uh, reading and it tells me that it's reading uh, input voltage of 27.464 which is consistent with the fully charged uh, lithium uh, ferrous phosphate uh, batteries uh, connected in series or in my case in parallel as well to increase the capacity.